Oh! I need to close my door! Ow! Watch your profanity! Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel. If I sound awful at points in this video you will have to forgive me because the cold is striking again and I did a load of hay nets yesterday and most of the dust went up my nose. Mm, yeah. <laughs> so, as you've probably guessed from the title and opening of this video, I am taking the dive into a brand new account today. This is Rin Strongarm and she's special for a few reasons. Um, she'll be the first account that I'm truly playing as a character. Kind of as in, I'm going to be going through quests and doing stuff as she would, not as I would. And I've also set myself a challenge to curb my insatiable spending habit, aside from maybe Star Rider, although I'm going to use redeem codes for as long as I can on that, I won't be putting a single penny into this account. I feel like it will be so much more rewarding when I can finally get things that way. I mean, like, last introduction I need to make is for my horse. I decided to name him Coffee Monster, aka Kaneki, or Kaneki, however you say it. And I'm hoping anyone who has watched the anime Tokyo Ghoul or read the manga will get the reference there. His eyes are also the same colour as Kaneki, so that's cute. Um, okay, enough of me gassing. Let's get into the Let's Play, because I'm really excited. Okay, so here we are in the new account. Ooh. By the way, sorry about the lighting. I did start playing this reasonably late at night, so there's going to be like time changes and stuff where I splice things together, so apologies in advance. And I'm also basically skipping through these first few quests because everyone's seen these quests. The only ones I'm not skipping through are ones we haven't seen before, or I haven't seen before, which are the more recent ones. As we get more into the story, however, I will slow down so we can actually see the quest dialogue and what's going on. Here we go, the first race, sort of. <laughs> I miss when they had the Cavaletti round here because it was so good for realistic role plays as well. I really want them to add it back. I don't know if anyone else does.
so this is the new quest about the jumping um, because you can now jump even if you're not a star rider so um, if you want to slow down the video to read this dialogue you can I'm not bothering to read out anything that's not like story related because ain't nobody got time for that first jump it's just unfortunate my idea for Kaneki's character is that he hates jumping so <laughs> I want to make him like a western horse but obviously there are quests that require you to jump right now oh it's Loretta more quest dialogue I don't know if this has changed but I'm not reading it anyway I've got to save my voice Yeah, Coffee Monster isn't that bad. I don't think. Anyway. Okay, so now we do this really boring race. I remember when this used to be quite fun. You'd have to, like, go in and out of obstacles. Yes, give me that sweet XP! Sorry. just like unlocking a lot of races and different dailies now. Back to Justin to learn how to take care of our horse. Oh my god, the animation when we're grooming. I love Kaneki's face. He's like, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, anyway, then it was time to go over and meet Conrad and go and collect his tools. Got the one, two, and three. I promise I'll get more involved once we actually start getting some proper story quests. As in not the main storyline, but ones that are interesting. Like the one that's coming up now. Brynn, have you seen Loretta? No? She rode off on the wild bug gap track, but never came back. I'm worried that something happened to her, but I can't leave the paddock. All the other bobcats are out looking for her, but I need to stay here in case someone comes back with any news. I really need help to find her. Can you ride to the path along the cliffs over there by the mountain and look for her? Yes, of course we can. And who are you? Hey. You don't like this guy, do you? Stop. This world has been declared unsafe. You can't walk, ride, or drive any further. There was a huge rock slide a little while ago, and large rocks had completely blocked the road. Yeah, I can see that. I'm not blind. Look, have you seen a girl on a white horse? She came up here earlier. Have I seen a girl on a horse? No, but I hope for her sake she's not lying under the pile of rocks over there. She'd be flat as a pancake. Listen, is there any way I can get past? I've got to find out if Loretta's okay. No, I can't let you pass. Even if your friend is in danger, the road must be cleared before I let you pass. Those are the orders I have, so I won't leave this place until Mr. Kimball tells me to. You have no idea what he'd do to me if he found out that I had disobeyed his orders. I. This is more important than your job. <sighs> if it's that important, why don't you go ask Mr. Kimball to send the bulldozer? You'll find Mr. Kemble on the construction site, close to that beautiful, large advertising board you probably love looking at. Write to him and ask if he can hurry up and send a bulldozer. Fine. Then that's what we'll do. Kemble, you and I need to have words. Ah, what have we here? A little stable girl who dares come all the way up here. Why, yes, I believe I do dare. What do you want? To sabotage my powerful machine in a pathetic attempt to save that little pile of planks that you call a stable? 
Don't you worry, little girl. We will tear that stable down and build new luxury condos and sell them for fabulous amounts of money. Rather excellent, don't you agree? I'll get rich and the moorlands won't get a shilling. That's how we work here at GED. Oh, trust me, I'll be coming back to talk to you about that later. But no, that's not why I'm here. Oh, you're not here to cause trouble. Listen, I don't have time to be sat here talking to you. I need you to lend me a bulldozer. Someone I know could be in- So you want me to send a bulldozer to clear the boulders off the road to rescue a friend? I really should ask you for an outrageous amount of money. But I actually need to clear that road anyway. I'm waiting for the wrecking crew to come. And this rock slide will force them to take a detour. So you'll send the bulldozer? You'll help? This is what we'll do. If you help me mark four trees for felling, I will send a bulldozer. Take this red tape and mark those four trees over there, and then I'll help you. Agreed? <laughs> Fine, but only because I want to help the rest of Good girl. Maybe you should think about working for us here at GED. We're always looking for people willing to destroy the environment. Okay, first, I wouldn't work for you if it was the last job left on your bank. Second, Where's your end of the bargain? Send that bulldozer. You promised. Oh, my promise. <laughs> I don't remember any promise. You have to learn not to trust people. You slimy little... Anyway, I had already given the order to send the bulldozer, so you could say you did all this for nothing. <laughs> See, there it goes. Off with you, girlie. You and I are done here. For now. The bulldozer is on its way. You had better stay away while it is working so you can go and update your friends or something. Now, I must keep planning the demolition of your stable. Have you got any news about the Rhetorin? Why, yes, I do. I'm not quite sure how I feel about it myself. A bulldozer is on its way to clear the rock slide? Good. But remember that Mr. Kemble is a real dirtbag and that GED are as about as trustworthy as a mouse in a cheese factory. Yeah, trust me, Tan, I've had that experience. The bulldozer should have cleared the road by now. Ride over to the cliff wall and keep looking for the Retta. Oh, I hope she's alright. Hurry, Rin! 